200 runners, lots of sponsors, and even more supporters all coming out to raise awareness for sustainability. Nature is valuable and it too is something that can be sustained over time. Sustainability has a large scope that includes minimizing our carbon footprint. One Georgia House bill may affect this. House Bill 122, which would eliminate the tax credit for low emission and no emission vehicles, has become a part of House Bill 170, a transportation bill that is currently on the Senate floor. I personally, in looking at this information which was collected by EPA and the Department of Energy, don't believe it, it is a, a good thing environmentally to spend $5,000 te tax dollars on, on a car that may only have put 2% less CO2 in the air than another type car that you don't incentivize at all. The tax incentive currently ties up about $50 million in Georgia's tax budget. And in the words of Representative Martin, is too rich, too targeted, and too open-ended. But according to some, the tax credit definitely incentivized people to buy these types of vehicles. There's definitely an increase uh, in the sales, and if you eliminate that, then that's definitely going to decrease it. Sustainability advocates are also worried about possible negative effects. I think it's great, the incentive for people to go out there and get electric cars, but if you cut that, you know, what, what will happen is hard to say. The answer to that question will be determined only if the bill becomes law. From there, consumers and those in the car industry will decide the future of these cars and possibly Georgia's carbon footprint. Abby Jessen, Grady News Source.